we're going to take a look at setting up tables and especially um, in doing the calendar project setting up a table is a uh, pretty important thing and you're probably going to want to use it um, I'm going to go to the master page here and um, I'm going to use the right hand page and whether you put uh, your numbers into the table you'll have to decide that we'll go over that and but creating the table itself meaning the squares uh, for your calendar is something that you're probably going to want to do so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a text box so I'm on the master page and I'm clicking and dragging and creating um, a fairly good sized text box and um, then we're able to go up into our main menu and you see we've got the table um, now we've got table options cell options and you notice that these are grayed out at the moment so the first thing we have to do is insert a table insert a table into the text box so we'll go to that first and the first thing that you see is um, the number of rows and the columns. Now in a, a standard calendar here we're going to have five rows and seven days in the week so we're going to have seven columns. Alright, so I'm going to say OK. And the first thing you see here is we've got a table but it's very very small. Clearly it uh, uh, is not the, the the cells, which are the individual little rectangles, are not nearly large enough. And um, the first thing we can do is with our text tool, I'm still using my text tool, we can go in here and notice we can either highlight an individual cell, the individual little square, we can do a whole row of them, or we can do the entire, the entire table all at once so by clicking and dragging okay so uh, for the moment I did the first I highlighted the first row and I'm gonna go um, up to our table uh, menu now while I'm here I want to point out something that once again with uh, CS3 you have some of the basic um, tools that you would use to create um, a table right up here in your options bar where the text is going to be um, the rows and the columns and some of these things but I'm going to go ahead and continue to use the uh, dialog boxes um, going under table I'm now going to go down here you can see these things are now lit up okay and um, I'm going to go to cell options cell options and go to any one of these okay and what you get is the large dialog box and as you can see very clearly there are different tabs up here displaying different information okay so um, we can um, here's where we can do again our rows and our columns and um, I'm going to um, the, take a look here and I'm going to put row height the height well I'm going to say um, uh, I'm in inches here so I'll say 1.25 uh, inches vertically also always make sure you turn on that preview button so that you can see what uh, you're going to get here okay and um, we're going to say okay now here's an example you can see it made the first row um, larger but the rest of them are still small so as I said a minute ago we probably needed to have highlighted the entire um, table and then uh, we they all would have been consistent you can also manually uh, move these as well. You can notice when you put your cursor here on 
the individual uh, lines and rows, you can pull them like that as well. So at any rate, um, but there's another way to do it as well. And that is, once again, if we go over either under Window in the main menu, or we simply go over here to our tabs. Here, notice we have Table Styles, Cell Styles, and Tables. So I want to click on this. And this brings up a group of um, tools. Say there. Okay. And once again, um, we're going to go here to the table, and I'm going to say um, right here, okay, how um, uh, deep do I want them to be? And I'm going to, because I highlighted all of them, I'm going to say, once again, 1.25 and, and click, and there you see we now have a, um, a large group <coughs> that are all the same size.